Monday morning is here. <laughs> Heading south. Two weeks. Or well, almost two weeks. Um, I feel organised. And yeah, that's it. I'm so pleased to be getting away for a couple of weeks. It's just turned 10 a.m. <sighs> I'm not going to record any of the journey. It's a long journey. I've done it many times. Uh, I don't think you need to see it again. And I will catch you at the other end. So I'm really looking forward to this. First of July. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, see you in the south. I've arrived. <laughs> And it's the usual fun chaos. It's the next morning, actually. I had a good drive down, no problems. I thought I would show you how the garden looks. Because um, it's rather fab. Everyone has just popped out, so um, I've got like a half an hour of me time. Um, it's going to show you how amazing this place looks when it's in full bloom.
Tuesday evening. I've come out for a post tea time walk because I felt guilty. I haven't really been out today. I've done lots of jobs around the house and been useful, but I felt guilty because I haven't come out at all today. And the rain has stopped. It's very still, very green. It's perfect for a, a post-dinner walk. I just felt guilty for being indoors all day, although busy. We've had rain here most of the day, but we're out in all this fabulous greenery and it smells lovely and damp and earthy and I love that. So I've just come out for a, I don't know, a 20 minute stroll just to get the cobwebs out of my lungs and the wine out of my head. The three of us have sunk a bottle of Rioja, which is going to be no good for my hip line. It is a bit of a reset because I don't watch much TV, hardly watch any YouTube. I mostly do things and socialise for two weeks on a very small level. But it is a kind of a reset. I eat differently. My routine just goes from one thing to the next. Well, as soon as I get down here, I don't want to do all the things that I normally do at home because the whole environment is different and I love that. So I'm just out enjoying. They've also mown the grass today. The landscapers were out mowing the grass in the rain, which is no surprise. And it adds to the lovely smell. So this is like outside the front of people's houses. This is what you want. Not some street with cannabis smokers and drunk people and boy racers and oh, it's just so different here. That pie? Oh wow. This is amazing. Look at this. A giant bracket fungi. That's enormous. That is absolutely vast. Look, sunbeams. It's turned into a glorious evening. Someone's watching the Euro 2024. Oh, look at that sun. Tell me you love a sunbeam. Look at the glimmers of sun coming through. Man, it's so nice to be back here. It's turned into a gorgeous evening. And it's so quiet. It's just lovely. the sports field. Always well used. Well, there's still some players out doing stuff. Can hardly see a thing. It's so sunny. <sighs> it's so good.
these beautiful trees. I think they're playing rugby or football, can't tell. They're doing warm ups. Anyway, it's people doing normal things and not being idiots. And now I'm turning around and walking back the other way. So relaxing down here. I meant to add, a couple of days ago I had a little look on one of the estate agent websites just to see how rental prices are doing down here. I didn't find anything at all in my county. I found, you won't believe what I found, a high street or town centre car parking space in Surrey that was the same price as my two bedroom flat and that was per month not per year so that's what I'm up against if I want to move back to where my family live I guess I could plot myself up in a car parking space for the same price there were no actual flats, there were house shares, no thank you, and you get a garage for 200 quid a month, there's literally nothing available. Now when I looked about six months ago, there was quite a lot available, um, not in my price range, but there were lots of flats and rents and things, now there's just nothing. But I only looked on one website, so <laughs> I'll have a look just to depress myself even further about moving home. <sighs> the two things I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a house share because I spent most of my life in house shares. It doesn't work. I need to be able to run a small business. and be able to work and I can't do that from one room it's like a prison and the other thing I can't do is move in with my parents a because I'll go mad and B because they'll go mad they don't have space for me uh, they do live in a house that's bigger than they need but they've been there for 48 years and everything's there. And why should they empty out their space for me? Just because I can't get my act together. Um, so yeah, I... Uh, it's Asda doing his choosing like deliveries. I would not expect them to put themselves out for me, why should they? I'm a grown adult. Um, I think that if something comes up, it'll find me. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not a tragedy that I have to drive five hours to see my parents, because at least I can do that. And certainly for now, whilst everyone's ticking along, it's not a catastrophe. Um, I'm not in desperate need of anywhere to live at the moment because I still have my flat. Oh, I've got something to show you here. This tree trunk.
That's how it looks on a Tuesday evening. Anyway, so yeah, so if I was going to live in my car, at least I could rent a parking space for what I pay for my flat. North-South divide, guys. It's a massively real thing. <sighs> is what it is, isn't it? Anyway, catch you soon. Today is Friday. It's the day after polling day, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, today I am meeting my old school friend, who I always come down and meet when I come down. We are going out to lunch. Normally we go on a walk. And despite it looking sunny at this moment in time, it's heavy rain on and off all day, so we're not going to take the chance. Um, yeah we're not taking a chance on that so I'm going to meet her we're going to go for lunch pub lunch and that's it really that'll be the end of my first week here We're doing lots of little odd jobs since I've been here. All sorts of bits and pieces. I've now run out of things to do. I haven't yet been out on a proper walk because the weather has just not been on my side. The days when it's been okay, I have had appointments and things to do. I, um, I had my regular three monthly dental appointment with the, um, with the hygienist who I see here every three months. It's, it works well because I'm down here anyway. And uh, prices have gone up. So I used to pay 65 pounds for a 20 minute hygienist visit. Now it's 72 pounds. Um, it's crazy. So that means that this year my dental is gonna cost me 390 pounds uh, just for basic hygienist visits and two dental checkups a year. I have dental complications caused by my own inability to see a dentist for about 20 years in my 20s and 30s, and I'm paying the price, as I've commented before, which means I have to see the dentist every three months now um, if I'm gonna stay on top of issues. It's paying off because I still have all my teeth. <laughs> so it's paying off and I know that I need it because I understand what the problem is uh, uh, you know I'm I'm with a private dental because during 2020 during COVID my dentist pretty much shut down and I couldn't get appointments for a year and it caused a lot of problems for me and so I joined the dentist where my parents go and the rest of my family goes they were still open they were still functioning as normal um, and I got in there and within a few months we had started to get on top of the problems again and I'm just staying with them you know um, I don't have a dentist locally to me anyway and if I had issues um, I wouldn't have anyone like if I had to have a tooth out and I needed someone to accompany me or something there is nobody up where I live that can do that so I'm better off having things done down here. I trust this dentist. I'm not very trustworthy of dentists. They've caused me a lot of problems in the past. So I stick with it. So I am just pulling up almost at my friend's house. We're gonna have a fun day. And 
yeah, I shall catch up with you another time. <laughs>